Namaste, my dear girls and boys. I am Ms. Leela and I welcome you all to this lovely session. Children, today we are going to meet a new letter. But before that, you need to tell me the sum of the previous letter that we did. That's letter S. And do you remember the sound for letter S? Come on, children. Wear your thinking caps and tell me the sound for letter S. That's right. S says S. One more time. S says S. Too good. And today we are going to meet letter A. Which letter is this? Yes, it's letter A. And I want to tell you something very important about this letter A. Letter A is called a special letter. It is also called as a vowel. And do you know children? There are five vowels. Other than letter A, there are four more vowels. And rest of the other letters, you know, do you know what are they called? They are called consonants. So there are five vowels and the other rest are called consonants. So today we are going to learn the sound of letter A through a very, very, very beautiful story. And for that, you all need to open your jumbo ears, magnet eyes and this to look at teacher and your screen. So let's begin. So the story's name is Andy and Annie. So children, once there was a boy whose name was Andy and he had this best friend whose name was Annie. So one day, Andy decided to go to Annie's house to play with her. So he goes to Annie's house and he knocks at the door. Annie opens the door and Andy goes inside and they both start playing with their toys. So Annie plays with her toy astronaut. And when she was playing, she tells Andy, when I become big, I would like to become an astronaut. I love being an astronaut. So Andy says, is it so? Annie, I love animals. And when I grow big, I would like to work in a wildlife sanctuary. So Annie says, wow, that's great. Andy shows Annie his toy alligator, toy alligator and antelope. Let's have a look. Yes. And after that, Mama was standing behind and listening to their conversation. And she says, children, if you all want to become big and become something in your life, for that you need to be healthy. And to be healthy, you need to eat healthy. So mama gives them apples and peach to eat. Soon they have little fruits and again they become busy playing, playing and playing. After some time, a trail of ants come. But do you know why did those ants come? Because they were attracted to the scent of the fruits that was kept. So ants are always attracted towards food. So they came, they started crawling over the leg of Andy and Annie. Looking at this, Andy and Annie started hopping and saying, ah, ah, ants. So children, what is the sound for letter A? Letter A says, ah. And the action is, as come on children, hop and do the action of removing the ants from your legs. Ah. That's correct. And now it's time to listen to the rhyme. Andy and Annie as they play a trail of ants come in their way, laughing and giggling, Annie stops. Ah, ah, ants, Annie hops. 
wow, that was so much fun. And now children, as you know the sound of letter A, it's time to write uppercase A and lowercase A through skywriting. So, teacher will write on the card and you are going to write in the sky like this. So, first we write our lowercase A. Here we go. Curve. Go up. Make a small standing line and a tail. Come on children. Let's write it one more time. Curve. Go up. Come down making a standing line and a tail. Superb. And now it's time to write the uppercase A. Yes, an uppercase A. Let's begin. First one slanting line. Then second slanting line. And then a small sleeping line. That's correct. Come on children, I want you to write one more time in the sky. Slant line. One more slant line and a small sleeping line in the center. Now it's time to tell me the word that you can see in the card. It starts with sound ah. Come on children. What was crawling on their legs? Yes, it's ah and. One more time. Ah and. Come on children, last time. Ah and. And now it's time to do desk writing. So you are going to write on a flat surface and teacher is going to write here both uppercase A and lowercase A. Here we go. Slant line, one more slant line and a sleeping line. That is the uppercase A. Now let's write the lowercase A. Curve, go up, come down making a small standing line. And a small tail. So children, please keep practicing your uppercase A and your lowercase A. And now it's time to have some fun. So for that, you need to say your three magical words. That is abracadabra, gilly gilly, shoo. Let's have fun. Put the ball with the letter A, with the bat. Ah, nice work. Give the rat the cheese with the letter A. Let's give the cheese with letter A. Ah, whisper. Put the ice cream with the letter A. Let's put the On ice the cone. Cream. Ah, super duper. Feed the letter A to Olive. Let's feed letter A to the Olive. Ah. Yay! You fed the letter A to Olive. Feed the letter A to Olive. Come on children, again, let's do it one ah. time. Yay! You fed the letter A to Olive. Feed the letter A to Olive. One more time. Ah. Yay! You fed the letter A to Olive. Trace the lowercase letter A. Let's trace the lowercase A. To make a tail. Sweet. That's right. Trace the uppercase letter A. Let's trace it with the pointer finger. Slant line, slant line, and a sleeping line. Great. You traced the letter A. Wow. Wasn't that fun, children? And now it's time to do some fun home play activities. Let's see, you are going to take a walk at your home and collect the objects that begin with letter A or sound A. And after that, once you have collected, you have to take 
the pictures you can collect for example a apron almonds apricots or a apple once you have collected you have to click pictures children i hope you enjoy this activity and keep on learning your words and sounds for different letters but now it's time for me to leave to take care of your health and now bye